Okay, so the time has come for us to declutter my nude lip products. Now these are some of my glosses that I just separated by brand. Here's some more. This is the tip of the iceberg, let me just tell you. These are just some of my glosses. So um, I just did a lipstick declutter of my brights and I will put that above in a card, but I want to show you guys something. Come with me. here. So this is what I decluttered the other day for my reds and my pinks. This is what I decluttered a few months ago from my brights. I wanted to show this to you guys in my last video. I had it out in my closet. Um, I don't take lipsticks to the shelter. Like any makeup that I declutter that my friends and family don't take, I will take to a women's shelter that is nearby. But I don't take lip products because I just, I don't even know that they would take them. So I had these sitting out there and I thought I would show you guys. Like this is a big... <sighs> so that is what I started with for brights and darks, reds, oranges, pinks, purples. Um, yeah, this is actually insane. I put a towel here. So I'm going to dump these out and show you guys since you got that declutter. I'm so sorry that you didn't get this declutter. I just did it on my own. I don't know why. Forgive me. Yeah. So um, now that I've tackled the brights, these are all going. Like that's all stuff, like I said, that I decluttered a few months ago. We need to tackle the nudes. This is going to be an extremely long video because I do want to swatch a lot of stuff for you guys. So, um, yeah, get ready. You're going to be here for a while. So, let's dive into my nudes. Ooh, that sounds scary. <laughs> Nobody wants to see my nudes. Okay, hopefully you guys can see okay. Ooh, look how bright my nails look. I have you, like, on my big tripod, but I feel like you guys are up really far, but I, like, zoomed it, so... We'll see. Okay, so I showed you guys I had everything broken down into brand. So I'm gonna start with Becca. The one that I wear the most is Beach Bum. This one's really pretty. It's just like a good normal nude. <laughs> normal nude. It's like a neutral, just like middle of the road nude. I love it. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this gold one, Metamorphic Gold, because I don't find myself really wearing this one. Same with this one, Pearl X Gold. Meh, it's alright. Um, this one, Rose Quartz and Seashell. This one kind of has that like ultraviolet pink shift that I don't really love. Here, let me show you some of my favorites. Topaz and Gilt. <laughs> Topaz. This one's really pretty. It has like a lilac-y blue. Let's see if I can get the shift to show. Nope. Can you see? Oh, see the shift that's in there? It's so cool. I love it. Oh, wait. I'm putting... Wait. Where's my discard pile? Ah! Okay, we'll just put them in there. I'm going to get rid of this one, uh, Beach Nectar. As pretty as it is, it's a little bit dark for me. Same with Malibu Soleil. Oh, I don't know. Let me swatch this one. Yeah, that's a little bit dark for me. I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, Molten Mauve, also getting rid of that one because... I sound like a broken record. It's a little bit too dark. If I'm wearing a gloss, I want it to be super light. So we got rid of six and we're keeping like eight. Pretty good, pretty good. I gotta keep this here or everything just starts sliding. Okay, next we're gonna do ColourPop. So I'm gonna get rid of this one as pretty as it is. I don't know how to pronounce this name though. Atole, oh, I'm probably jacking that up. Um, This one's pretty. But something that I find with the formula, it separates and it kind of freaks me out. I just mixed it up. I should have showed you before I did. Um, yeah. And when you actually put it on, it kind of just looks like a colorless gloss. So she can go. This designer collection one in Boo is a little bit too pink for me. 
ColourPop glosses do not stay good, and I have a complaint, ColourPop. Um, so one of my favorite ColourPop glosses is, where is she? Moonchild, which is Kathleen's, uh, one of her glosses with ColourPop. It is incredible. But this one is a doe foot. But I ordered one, like I went online, I ordered one, and it came and it had this stupid brush applicator. Who would ever go from a doe foot to a brush? The brush is awful. I hate the brush, ColourPop. What are you doing? We don't want the brush. This one is Glass Lip. Oh, see, this one has, sorry if I'm like way down here. This one has the brush. And I don't like the brush. It's just not good. I love ColourPop glosses, but I hate that freaking brush. Um, I think I'm going to keep the rest of these. This one is one of my favorites. This one is called On Board. It's, it's so pretty. It's really good. It almost has like a, I don't know, like a weird kind of shift to it. I love it. Okay, so we got rid of a few. So I have my Morphe ones here, but I'm not going to be getting rid of any of them because, like, I just got them. Um, I can show you a few of my favorites. So this one is Groupie. This one is really pretty. It's just a nice, like, pinky nude. I really like that one. And then Boho is my favorite. Boho is the bomb. It is, like, my perfect pinky nude gloss. It is so good. All right, let's move on to Jouer. I love Jouer's high pigment glosses. I love Jouer's sheer pigment glosses. They're incredible. Some of the best glosses ever. My favorite high pigment one is PCH. Where is she? PCH. So beautiful. It's just like perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, my favorite sheer one is Diamond Walk. This, you guys, I feel like if you're a fan of nude glosses, you should own that. Like, there's just no way that that shouldn't be in your life. The formula is not sticky. It's not thick. It's smooth, comfortable, amazing. It wears beautifully. I love it. Loves you a glosses. These two, these are two of their lip toppers in Frostbite and Funfetti. I have these in minis, so I'm actually going to give these to one of my girlfriends um, because I do have the little baby ones, so I'm going to put them right there. Um, everything else I'm keeping, sorry, I love Jouer, and I'm not parting with any of them. And then in this little container, I have all of my Morphe lip toppers and my mini Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I know that I'm not getting rid of anything in here because I really like these, but I'll show you a few of my favorites. My favorite Marc Jacobs gloss next to Sugar Sugar. Wait, everything is sliding away. You stay right here. Uh, this one is Ch -ch 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 Changes. Hey, that's the name of it. Listen, don't shoot the messenger. So it has kind of like a, a purple ness to it that I usually wouldn't like. Do you see that? It's so beautiful. I love it. And then some of my favorites from Morphe. This one is Mesmerize. I know you guys hear me always raving about Morphe lip products, but it's for a reason. Like, look at that. It's not chunky. It's not thick. They're just, I like abracadabra. Here it is. Look at this. It just, you can even tell by the way it applies on the back of my hand. It's just like effortless. It doesn't like grab. It's just so smooth. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, keeping all of those. I'm feeling it life. The Morphe lip toppers do have quite a bit of shimmer in them, but it's done right. You don't feel it on the lips. It's not gritty. It's not like a bigger glitter. It's just like this fine beautiful just like luminosity. Okay, next we can do Urban Decay. I don't have too many of these. I did give a lot of them away. Now Urban Decay glosses can be deceiving because to look at this one you would think, oh my gosh, that's like such a deep shade. This one is Back Talk. 
it's not deep though when you swatch it. It's actually very, sorry, I have glitter all over me from those Morphe lip toppers. See, it's just like soft and pretty. And these have a nice, not sheer formula, but they're a thinner gloss. My favorite one is Midnight Cowgirl. This one is glorious. I gotta wipe my hand off better because there's shimmer everywhere. Look at that. So good. Um, so the only ones that I think I'm gonna get rid of, let me swatch this one, Gold Mine. I haven't worn this one in forever. Yeah, that's a little bit too gold for my liking, so I can pass on that one. And Rapture, I do like. What about Obsessed? Oh, that's like nothing. That is super, super light. So I'm going to pass on that one. The rest I am keeping. So that's pretty good. We got it down to five Urban Decay. Okay, next we'll do Max. Sorry, I have to keep that there. Everything just starts sliding away. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these, you guys. Oh my gosh, let me swatch this Patrick one. She better work. Is this one too pink? Oh no, that's... Mm, no, I think I'm going to keep that one. That one's really pretty. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting rid of any of these. This one I thought was going to be a little bit deep. This one doesn't have a name on it. I'm um, sorry, my camera just cut off. As I was swatching this one from MAC, I don't even know what the name of it is though because it doesn't have a name on it. Like the name came off. Uh, I think I might get rid of that one. MAC glosses are sticky and I'm not the biggest fan of the formula, but some of the colors are really pretty. I don't know, I feel like I should get rid of more of these. These Calypso Beat, I have not worn this in forever. It's just like that light pinky gloss. I can get rid of that. Uh, what about this one? This one is Nymphette. This is like a classic MAC gloss. Oh, no, I'm keeping that. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Like, it has that like gold. It has that like gold sheen. Oh, so pretty. Nope, not getting rid of. Sorry. Okay, we're keeping all of these. Okay, now in here, these are miscellaneous. There's a lot of Too Faced. There's a little bit of everything. So first off, these Girlactic glosses. What are these even called? It doesn't say, but I have four of them. You guys, if you have been looking for a gloss with a lot of luminosity with shimmer in it, I'm telling you these Girlactic ones are probably the best ones that I've ever used. This is shimmer in a gloss done right. My favorite one is Glow. Let me just show you how perfect this is. The formula is so thin. There's no grittiness. You don't see any chunks of anything. And on the lips, it is so comfortable. Look how pretty that is. I love this. This is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses. I wear this a lot. But all four of them, the formula is in Incredible. They are amazing. Galactic totally killed it with these. Definitely not parting with any of them. But I am going to be getting rid of these Too Faced glosses. As beautiful as they are, they are the total opposite of what I was just saying about the Galactic ones. They have a lot of shimmer in them, but it's gritty. It's bigger. You can feel it on your lips. They're very sticky. The formula is a bit goopy. So I'm not a fan of these. I do think the packaging is just amazing. Um, also, the Too Faced Melted Latex. I know this is like a lip lacquer, but I kind of wear them as a gloss. I despise them. I Too Faced, I really like you. But I do not like these melted latex whatsoever. I just, they're everything that I don't like in a gloss. And everybody has different wants and needs. They just, they don't check my boxes. So I'm getting rid of all of these Too Faced. And I'm also going to be getting rid of these um, Tutti Fruity ones. I just don't find myself wearing them. And I need to part with them. Okay, did I get them all? 
Uh, this Huda Beauty one in the shade Bewitched. Let's give her a little swatch because I'm not sure. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. If you're looking for a gloss with an intense purple shift, look how cool that is. Oh my goodness, I have to keep that. That is so much fun. That's so unique. Uh, this Ofra Flexi Slick. I have one of these that you guys will see, but this one in the shade Urge, I just don't love the shade, so I'm going to get rid of it. The Pop Beauty Topper Popper. I'm not a big fan of this formula. Again, it has shimmer. It's a little bit bigger and chunkier, so goodbye. Same with these Tarte Lip Blings. As gorgeous as this packaging is, I really, really don't love the formula of the lip product. And I know I would never choose any of them over my Girlactic ones. This Milani Lip Plumper in Almost Natural. Let me just show you this formula. It is so goopy. Look, one swipe. Do you see how goopy that is? Mm -mm, nope, not a fan. Love you, Milani, but I do not like that. Um, I think I'm... Oh, there's another one of those latex. Oh, this e.l.f. Modern Metals. This is so beautiful. And when I first got this, I was like, oh, that's going to be so good. But again, I sound like a broken record. Um, I'm not happy with the formula. A lot of brands do not know how to do a lip gloss with shimmer in it. It's too chunky and you can feel it on your lips and I really, really hate that. Uh, this Pixie Chloe Morello one in the shade Cake. This one I didn't really mind, but it's very similar to my Girlactic ones, so I am going to part with that. But Chloe Morello, just for the record, is one of the most beautiful women in the entire world. It's just not fair. And I'm going to keep everything else in here. The Bite Gloss and Flat White. One of my favorites. This is another one that I think if you're a big fan of nude glosses, it's just one that you should own. It's so comfortable. If you want a good one from the drugstore, the Rimmel Stay Glossy in the shade Blushing Belgraves. I got this because of Jessica Braun. It is really good. This is like my third one. I love it. I always keep it in my purse. Oh, I can get rid of this Revlon Rosy Future. This is really nice, but I just have too many that look like that, and I know I'm not going to wear it. Okay, we did really good with that area. Oh, I also have my Fenty uh, Gloss Bombs. You guys, these are some of the best lip glosses ever created. And I don't even know how to describe them. This is the original one, which I still think this is my favorite one. When you swatch it, it has the look of like a sticky, thicker gloss. But the formula is so soft and smooth and amazing and comfortable. I don't know how they do it. Like, to look at it, you're like, oh my gosh, that's so glossy, and it looks, like, so juicy, and you're like, that has to have a sticky formula. It does not. I'm putting some on right now because I love it so much. It's so comfortable. It smells good. This Fenty Gloss Bomb might be the best gloss overall that I've ever used, honestly. Like, I freaking love it so much. So, if you're a lip gloss addict and you don't own one of these Fenty Gloss Bombs, you are missing out. I'm telling you, you have to get one. You have to. So I have the original one, which is that guy right there. Amazing. I have a mini of the original one. And then I have Fussy, which is a little bit more pink, equally as amazing. I go back and forth between which one is my favorite. And then because I love the formula so much, I got Diamond Milk, which is this gorgeous white. And it does look really pretty over a nude. Okay. So now that you know my deep, deep obsession with the gloss bombs, we can move on. Okay, now we are moving out of glosses because I think I covered... Yeah, I didn't miss anything. I think I covered most of my glosses except for a few that you'll see in my uh, on my vanity. In here, I have 
any type of liquid lipstick. Now, I honestly don't have a lot of liquid matte lipsticks, but I have a lot that are kind of like ultra satins, uh, demi mattes, something kind of in between. So I love the M Cosmetics ones. I, the name is escaping me right now. I don't know why, but I'll pop it up on the screen. The M Cosmetics ones are really, really good. My favorite though are these L'Oreal ones, the Rouge Signature. This one is I Create. I'm telling you guys, they are so, so nice. This one is I Am Power. Look how nice and thin that formula is, and they do not dry your lips out. And this one is I Roll. How pretty. You guys, I'm telling you, go buy one, they're so good. Uh, what about this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Dublin? I don't know that I've ever... Nah. Nah. Meh. She can go. I'm actually going to throw that away. The formula feels kind of weird. I'm going to keep my Demi Mattes. Uh, I have like one left out of my Burberry uh, Liquid Lip Velvets. This one is Fawn. I feel like I show this to you guys in every declutter. These have like a moussey, like a dry moussey formula, but they are so, so comfortable on. They don't dry your lips out. They wear really well. They kind of fade away gracefully. Love them. One of my subscribers actually got me onto these. I do have a few ultra satins, and all of these are good because I just went through these not too long ago because ultra satins go bad really, really fast, but I'm going to keep all of those. Oh, I do have one Ofra liquid lip. This one's in the shade Sanibel. This shade is so pretty. I love that color. I don't love this packaging, though. I feel like the old Ofra packaging was so nice, and it was, like, so elegant and pretty. And this, I feel, is, like, cheap. I don't know. Just my opinion. Just my two cents. Doesn't matter. Just my two cents. So yeah, we did, we did not too good with this one, but I knew that we wouldn't because I already got rid of a bunch months ago. I'm sorry, I don't know why I didn't do it with you guys. I was just kind of sitting here and I started decluttering and it turned into this like massive <laughs> declutter. I don't know, it just happened. Okay, so this is what we are getting rid of. I think I did pretty good. Now do I have more lip glosses and lipsticks than anyone in their life would ever need, yes. But that's just a fact of life that we're all going to have to learn to deal with. Let's do lip crayons next. I was never the biggest fan of lip crayons and recently, I would say just in the past few months, ah, I have become so hooked on lip crayons. I've always loved the NARS ones, which I can already tell you I'm not getting rid of any of the NARS ones because I told you guys in my brights video that I kind of collect them. I just like to have them. They're cute. I like them. So let a bitch live. So I can take those out of the mix right off the bat. Shall I show you a few of my favorites? Bahama's my favorite probably. I don't know where Bahama is. She might be in my purse, but this one is Belle Du Jour. If you're looking for a very, very, very light nude, it's very pretty. How many varies? This one is Bettina. This is another, oh my God. Look how soft and beautiful that is. Oh, I die, I die. It's so pretty. And I've been raving about the Morphe lip crayons. They're uh, amazing. I want them to come out with more like light nude shades. This one's IRL. This one's very pretty. That's just like a nice classic nude. Uh, so we can take those out of the mix. They're not going anywhere. I only have a few ColourPop lippy sticks left because I feel like they kind of go bad and I don't know, I just didn't need all of them. This is Oh Snap. This is my favorite one. I have two backups of it just in case ColourPop decides to get sassy and try to discontinue this. Uh-huh, ColourPop, not today, Satan. Mama's ready. I'm ready for the apocalypse. I'm so sad because I love these Milk Makeup 
lips. I don't know what they're called. Um, it just says lip color. I know they changed the packaging and I think the formula is pretty much the same, but cream was my favorite one and I lost it. I don't know where it's at if I gave it away by accident. This one is low key and it's very pretty, but it's no cream. I'm gonna have to buy that one again. I do love these Hourglass lip crayons. They are the, I don't know what they're called. Okay, this one is Creator. This one is more pink. I have another one that I like better. Oh, here she is. This one is Peacemaker. Of course I like that nude one better. Aren't they nice? And they're glossy and pretty. Uh, this Bite Lip Crayon in the shade Glossé. We may be able to get rid of this one. Okay. Do I need to keep that? I think I'll keep it. Oh my God, I'm not doing good. Okay, and these other two I'm keeping. Wow, I'm failing miserably. Oh wait, why is this hand so tan? It doesn't look that bad in person. <laughs> I swear, mm -hmm. wink wink, likely story, Nicole. Okay, so this bin was in one of my Alex drawers. Now this started out as like a little container with a couple lipsticks in it and then it got bigger and bigger and here we are. So these are lipsticks that I don't have a lot of. Like my Urban Decay, my MAC, um, my Morphe, I have a good amount of, so I have them in another drawer, like organized, very pretty. But this is just a bunch of miscellaneous whatever. So um, we need to go through this because I don't use very many that are in here because of the way that I have them. Like I'll just grab whatever's on top and it's just not, it's just not efficient. So, okay, let's see what I wanna get rid of. I haven't touched any of these in so long. Tom Ford Nude Vanilla. This one is pretty, but it's way too light for me. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. It's, um, it's way too light. So, sadly, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh, it was so expensive. I really like these L'Oreal ones. I think I have another one in here. Uh, what do we have? A Sparkling Rosé and Luminous Coral. These are two that I don't really wear. I do love the formula though. Let me swatch Sparkling Rosé. I think this one might be too pink. Yeah, that's a little pink. I'm gonna get rid of that one and I'm gonna get rid of Luminous Coral. Uh, Elf touch of nude. Wait, I have this one in my other drawer. This must be my old one. So that one can go. That's a really good one though. Oh shoot. Let me turn my phone off. Hang on. This Pixie by Petra. This is like a, a multi-use cheek and lip. It's called baby petal. It's pretty, but I don't need it. Okay, I wonder how that would be on the cheeks. It feels like it, no, it's a little too greasy. I have two, where's the other one? I have a few of these Sephora ones and these are really nice. This one is just number seven. That one's a little gray for me, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. But they are good, this one I like, number six. This one I wear, that one's pretty. So I showed you guys the liquid lips that I had. These two somehow got thrown into this guy. These are both from Pixie. Uh, Bare Beauty and Pastel Petal. Really pretty colors, but I don't love this formula. They're a little bit drying for me, for me. You guys know I'm a freak. So I'm gonna get rid of both of those. This Wet n Wild 914C Mochalicious. This one's pretty, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not gonna wear it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think I'm gonna wear that color. Uh, L'Oreal Mattitude. That's a little too dark for me. Here, I'll swatch it. I can't swatch everything though. We would be here forever. Let me put you guys up a little bit so you can see. There. Ooh, ankle, sexy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This Koki one I have had for, or Kiko, what did I say, Koki? Oh, Koki is a brand though. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one, I've had it forever. I forget even how to open it. It doesn't even have a name on it, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, 
that one can go. Okay, I have a few of these Too Faced ones, and I think I have four. I do, oh, I have five. Oh my goodness. I do not need all of these. I'm gonna swatch all of them, and I'll decide to keep like two. Okay, this one is Nip Slip. I wanna keep it just for the name. It's actually really pretty too. <laughs> these are nice, I like these. This one is Skinny Dippin'. Oh, I like that one. That one's pretty. This one is Send Nudes. Oh, that's my favorite one. You guys know I love a light nude. Uh, this one is Pout About It. See, aren't they all so pretty? And this one is Birthday Suit. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna keep the third one. Wait, I got myself all confused now. What was what? I'm gonna keep those three. Okay, I'm getting rid of Pout About It and Birthday Suit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hopefully I just kept the ones that I wanted. I didn't put them in order on my carpet like a dumbass. Okay, I have a few also of these Origins ones. I love these. I love the lip balms. They're called like Blooming something. And the lipsticks are amazing. But the ones that I love, I have in my other drawer. So, I think I'm actually gonna part with quite a few of these. Nectarlicious is really pretty though. Oh, I'm keeping that one. You guys, I'm not doing good. Nude Blossom, this one is super, super light. So I am gonna get rid of that one. It's even a little bit too light for me. Hopefully the lighting's okay. The sun is shining now and it's like really coming through. Pink Carnation and English Rose, I know they're too pink for me. So I'm gonna get rid of both of those. This Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink and Driver, I love the color, but I don't like the formula. And then Maybelline came out with these and I was so excited. They marketed them as being like shades that everyone can wear but I wasn't thrilled with any of the shades. Okay, I just dumped it out so it's easier for me to see what I'm looking for. So mauve it for me and pink for me. I'm gonna get rid of both. I don't know, I wasn't a, oh, here's another one. I wasn't a huge fan of these. Uh, spice for me. They can all go. Oh my God, another Demi Matte. I didn't even know this was in here. Mogul, let's swatch it and see what it looks like. Um, that's pretty, but no, I'm gonna get rid of it. Makeup Forever N5, I have had this thing forever. Oh my gosh, this is so old, it has to go, but I used to love that color. Darn it. Uh, this Flower Beauty Melon Kiss, I think I told you guys in a Shop My Stash that I was getting rid of this. I think that's why I kinda just like threw it in there to get rid of it, but it just never happened. Honeymoon from NYX. I love the NYX matte lips. You guys know this. But I don't think I love that color. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. You know I can never make up my mind on these declutters. Are you too close? Are you too far? I just want you guys to be able to see the swatches. Okay, let's go through these few from L'Oreal. There's three. So we have Risque Roses. Cutting Edge Coral, Coral? Cork, I'm like wait, that does not look coral. Cork and Power Petal. I'm gonna get rid of all three of those. This Sephora, ooh, number four. I don't like that one, it's too pink. Okay, let's do, I have a couple from ColourPop. Blippy Sticks that I think I put in here to get rid of. Sure Thing, Lumiere, and Boys Town. I'm gonna get rid of all three of those because I just don't wear these shades a lot. Another e.l.f. one, Touch of Blush. Oh, I don't like that color. Nope, not my shade. Here is a, what is this, Estee Lauder uh, 130. That's a little bit dark for me. Goodbye. Clinique, Nude Pop, and I think I had another Clinique. Nude Pop and Beige Pop. Let's swatch both of these. So this is Nude Pop. Oh, that's pretty. And this is Beige Pop. 
Ooh, this one's pretty too. Hmm. I'm going to keep nude pop and get rid of beige pop. Okay. This Koki one in number 55. This formula is actually really, really nice. But I have so many that look like that. Oh, I'm going to put it in a maybe pile because I don't know. Urban Decay Gubby. This one is a metalized. Ooh, that's super light. Wow. I don't think I could pull that off. Goodbye. Lipstick Queen. I love their lipsticks. This one is Goodbye. Oh, this one is a weird shade. Okay, there's Goodbye from Lipstick Queen. See that really cool shift? But on the lips, I don't love it on me, so... Goodbye. And then I have a few of these uh, Lipstick Queen again. These are the lacquers. Rear View Mirror Lip Lacquers. Drive My Mauve and Joyride Java. I'm going to get rid of both of those. The one that I love, I have up on my vanity. All May Go Wild. Look how cute the packaging is. Uh, we're running out of room. Um, can you guys see that? Nah. Okay, now I feel like you're too close. So that one is Go Wild. I backed you guys up again. I just like to keep you on your toes. I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. There's some in here from Milani. These are so old. I'm getting rid of all of them because they are so old. They have to go. Uh, CoverGirl Tempting Toffee. I have like the new packaging of this one. I do really like this one. You guys will see my CoverGirl ones. They're amazing. I wear them a lot. Here's another one. Honeyed Bloom. I think I have this one in the new packaging. Okay, there's a bunch of Makeup Forever. Any of them that are creams, I know off the bat I'm getting rid of. This is M200. It's too pink. Uh, C106. C105 is my favorite. Nah. Don't love... Uh, C103. That one is a little bit too light for me. C210. Too pink. I do not like pink on me unless it's hot, like flaming pink. Love Light from Urban Decay. This is a sheer. Uh, no, I don't like that color. <laughs> I'm such a picky bitch. Oh, here's another Makeup Forever. C302. No, 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 no. Not on me, sir. Not today, Satan. This one was from Pure. It was from like a holiday collection guest list. I'll put it up here. Um, the color is pretty, but no, I don't need it. Okay, ColourPop. There's three in here. I have my favorites in my other drawer. Creme Fresh. Nah. I think that one's broken anyway. Lucky Strike and Hey Mr. DJ. I feel like these were in my Shop My Stash. I'm getting rid of both. I feel like some of my get rid of stuff got thrown in here by accident. So I'm sorry if you guys are seeing like doubles. Not doubles, but repeats. Uh, Matt Carone. Matt Carone? Matt Carone from L'Oreal. This one's too pink for me. Uh, let's go through all these Revlon ones because I have quite a few. I'm going to start over here with Pink Cognito. That one is super sheer and really, really pretty. Keeping. Uh, Audacious Mauve I'm getting rid of. Bear Affair. I really do like that one. That's really pretty, but uh, I'm keeping it. Next one is Rise Up Rose getting rid of and then the last one is nude attitude shoot i thought i knew what i was going to do and now i'm like confused uh i'm getting rid of shit it's pretty though but i'm getting rid of it Galactic beauty i talked about this in a favorites video once i used to wear the shit out of that thing but i don't really find myself wearing it anymore and it's a little deeper than i would want right now. I know I'm so weird with nudes. I'm going to get rid of it, but it really is a good lipstick. 
uh, Butter London. I have, oh, I have three of them. Let me swatch them. That one is strong. The formula of these is so creamy, like kind of too creamy at times. Lovely. Ooh, she's pretty. And then Clever. I like to swatch things in case you guys see something you like and you're like, oh, she didn't swatch it. But I can't swatch everything. I got rid of all three of these. Not big on the formula, even though the colors are very pretty. Here's another Urban Decay Carnal. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's it's too dark for me. Okay, everything else that's here, I feel like I'm getting rid of. This Nude Lust from L'Oreal is, or Maybelline is way old. And what are you? And then Nude Thrill, super old. Actually, I'm gonna trash both of those. I'll go through that then and get out the old stuff. I have a few from Gosh. Let me swatch these because I feel like I've had people ask me questions about these. This one is Darling. It's very pretty, but it's very light. This one is Antique. This one is a matte. Ooh, that is old and disgusting. That needs to go in the trash. And then this one is Sweetheart. Pretty, but I am getting rid of all three. Oh, here's another ColourPop one. Still crazy. It's like a movie rose. I'm getting rid of it. And another one, Stone Fox. It is such a pretty color, but on me it looks terrible. And then these couple Stila ones, I love these. They're like the Magnificent something or other. It doesn't say on here. They are amazing, but these both are so dried out. I have to throw them away. Is this my favorite? Oh no, this is number 21. The Sephora Rouge like Shine something number one. I don't think they make it anymore. It is my favorite Sephora one. It's so good. It's up on my vanity. You'll see it then. I'm getting rid of this one. Um, yeah, everything else that's down here I am parting ways with. This one is C108 from Makeup Forever. Very pretty, but not my color. So yeah, the rest of these can go. Wait, what about this elf one? Rose Shield. Oh no, that's way too purple for me. Okay, I think I did good. Oh, here's another gosh one. Nude. I might as well swatch it. I did the others. Oh, now that one's very pretty but I have so many like that. Goodbye. Rimmel number 38. Nah, I've seen it, done it before. Okay, oh, Victoria. Oh my God, I almost got rid of this. This is one of my favorites. I just talked about this with you guys. It's so sheer and glossy and amazing, amazing. This needs to go up with my favorites. That is amazing. Uh, this Koki one, I'm gonna part with. It was in my maybe pile. It was like the only thing there. Goodbye. Yeah, the rest of these can go. Okay, we did good. Look at my discard pile, you guys. Hold on. Look at this. That's what we're getting. Oh my gosh, did you hear that thunder? <gasps> oh, that was bad. Um, This is what I'm getting rid of and we're not even done yet. Oh, look at you. Look at you decluttering, girl. Go, girl. Go, girl. Oh, oh, twerk. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we are in the bottom drawer of my Alex drawers that are at my vanity. There's no way for me to get my ring light to shine on this area. I have been trying for like 20 minutes. So hopefully it's not too dark down here. So this is the drawer where I have all of my like organized lipsticks that I have a few of that I can kind of arrange together. Uh, so I have Morphe, L'Oreal, NARS, CoverGirl. I love these. I'm going to swatch a few of my favorites for you. Tarte, ColourPop, Becca, Too Faced. These are all MAC and MAC. Uh, Urban Decay. And then back here we do have a few stragglers of like my favorites. There's some Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this Marc Jacobs one. This is called Perfect. Look at that packaging. Oh my gosh. Love it so much. 
It's the best. It's one of my favorite nudes ever. Oh, I should swatch it for you. But you can't really get your hands on it. But it's so good. Also, if you guys have not tried these Tom Ford Lip Color Satin Matte, oh my goodness. If you want something matte that is not drying or chunky or gross, they are so comfortable and so pretty, but you still get that nice like nude finish. I mean, not nude, matte finish. This one is La Nudite. One of the best lipsticks I've ever used. Amazing, amazing. These CoverGirl ones, I love these. I feel like they are so underrated. Cream is amazing. If you want a light, a really light nude, it's beautiful. My favorite one, I think, is Sphinx. This was from the Katy Perry collection that they did. I love this one. It has just the right amount of pink. Like it's not too much. Oh, and they're so comfortable. Honeyed is really good. This is another light one. Like if you want like a pinky nude. They're so nice. I love them. Here's Honeyed Bloom. I showed you guys the one in the old packaging. She's amazing. C105, you guys have heard me rave about this for years. This is my second one and I have a backup because if Makeup Forever ever gets any ideas and tries to get rid of this, C105 is my second favorite nude lip of all time. You'll see my first one. It was limited edition. You cannot get it anymore. You guys know the Mac and Samantha Ravindahl one. Um, a new love in my life is Becca Sugar. You guys this nude is so pretty and the formula is so nice love that one and i the packaging just everything about it is good stark naked from urban decay it's a comfort mat this one is beautiful i know i'm not getting rid of anything in this drawer so i'm just gonna swatch a few of my favorites for you love mac nudes they do really good nudes. Um, what else do I have in here that I love? A uh, Saint Peachy Nude from Lipstick Queen. This is another one of my favorites. It has like a more sheer glossy finish. Oh, love it. Number 14 from Rimmel. I think this is, one. yeah, it's one of the Kate Moss ones. This is a gorgeous nude and it's very, very inexpensive. Okay, I think we can move up to my vanity. But those are some of my faves. This drawer is going nowhere. Okay, so we're back to my vanity. So in here I have, in this top drawer, I have my favorite lipsticks that I wear a lot. Most of them are sheer, balmy nudes. You guys know how I do. You know my type. But there are a few just like regular lipsticks in here. In here I have lip balms. Should we declutter lip balms? Hey wait, let's do that. I have two number seven Clarins uh, lip balms. The What are they called? Hang on. They are called the Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. I have been talking about these for probably like five years. They're incredible. Usually one of these is in my purse, but for some reason they both ended up down here. I'll show you what it looks like. It's very, very sheer, but it is, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good, it hurts. I can get rid of this fresh one. If I'm going to wear, where is my regular fresh sugar? Here it is. If I'm going to wear fresh sugar, it's just going to be the original brown tube. That is the only one that I F's with. Um, my mom got me this one, the honey one. It is pretty, but no, I don't know. There's just something about it that I don't love. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Surprising, right? The Lip Slip from Sarah Hap. I got this one because I heard someone talking about it but I don't know, I, I don't love it. It's kind of like a thicker, almost like a sticky formula. I feel like it's a bad knockoff for 
the By Terry Balm de Rose, which is insanely expensive. I got this in a box or something. I didn't buy this. This is like $60 and it's a freaking lip balm. I'm dropping everything, but it is. I'm telling you, if you want to really splurge and treat yourself and you're like a lip balm addict, this is like top dog. It is. It is really, really nice. I used to love the Chanel one. I told you guys the story. I was in LA. I went to the Chanel counter because I knew I wanted their lip balm, but I didn't know how much it was. So I'm thinking like, oh, it's going to be like 30 bucks, Chanel lip balm. And when I went to check out, she's like, that'll be like 55-ish dollars. And I was like, oh, okay, no problem. Like, I'm totally fine paying $55 for a lip balm, duh. You know, I didn't want to be like, oh my God, is that really how much it is? So I paid 50 some dollars for a freaking Chanel lip balm. I enjoyed every second of it, but I would never buy it again. This Orbe one Erin gave to me, this one is really nice. Balm Essence. It smells so good. Okay, I'm not doing very well. I am going to get rid of this Murad one. I'm going to see if my mom wants it. It's nice, but I always pick something else over it. Uh, this Kiehl's one is pretty good. I know this is like a cult favorite, but I just think it's okay. I am going to get rid of this fresh one. Like I said, if I'm using a fresh lip balm, it's just the original. Um, and this one also, this one from the body shop, I don't know, it was just nothing special. Love the Jouer one, the Essential Lip Enhancer, one of the best lip balms in the world. And I do love these Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Oils, they're really nice. For a super inexpensive option, the Chapstick Total Hydration Coconut, this is really, really good. And then I love these Butter London lip oils. They are really nice too. Okay, I think I covered everything. Down here I just have like new lip products. So I do have a few more Morphe um, lip glosses, but this is like the new collection. I kind of want to keep them together and show them in a video. So they're just kind of living there for right now. Uh, two new ones from Huda that I'm keeping. A few new uh, MAC from their new, I forget what the collection's called, it's like Blooming Cherry Blossom or something. That's totally wrong. That is not what it's called. A few new Persona lip glosses, one of the new Ofra Flexi Slick, yeah. Um, so that drawer is going to stay as is. Let's dive into my pride and joy. I love this drawer so much. These right here are my absolute favorite nude lip products. Most of what's in here is like a super thin, like balmy, uh, sheer lipstick. That's what I like. And I did a video on my favorite sheared out nude lips. And I will put that up above in a card so that I'm not repeating myself too much. But I still am going to show you some of my favorites. This was the Sephora one that I was talking about. But sadly, oh, shit, I'm so sorry. I don't think you can get this one anymore. But oh, my goodness, there is just something about it that is so nice. Like, why would they get rid of it? Why do they always get rid of the good stuff? I've been loving this Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Mask in the shade Nectar. That's really, really nice. Uh, this Burt's Bees, oh, what is this one called? Oh, Outback Oasis. This is really, really pretty as well. A new family member, the newest actually, is Chanel Boy. What took me so long to buy this? One of my subscribers told me on Instagram, she's like, it's my favorite. You need to buy it. Like, what are you doing? And I bought it like five seconds after. Look at that. Oh my God. I love it so much. Again, I'm not decluttering anything from here because these are my absolute favorites. Um, like I said, though, if you're curious about the majority of what's in here, if you watch the video that I just put in a card above, my favorite sheared out nude balmy lips, you will see like 90% of what's in here. Um, so yeah, I'm not parting with any of these. A new one that I've discovered that I've been loving is this wetsuit. <laughs> oh my God. Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit 
High Shine Lipstick in the shade Send Nudes. I was so skeptical of this because I was like, I'm not really a lip lacquer person, but this is really nice. It's not sticky. It's not goopy. It's very comfortable. It almost feels like a balm with a bunch of color. It's very, very nice. Love that. This is my favorite one. I, I don't know why I keep torturing you guys because you can't get it. It was exclusive to Canada and I had my aunt send me like five or six of them. Uh, the Samantha Ravindall and MAC collaboration. I just don't understand why you would make something this incredible. Wait, let me swatch it for you. Why you would make something this incredible and then make it so limited edition like MAC. Sam, freaking bring it back. Bring it to the U.S. just for like two weeks so everybody can stock up on it. It's so sad. This is another new addition to the family, the Dior. Uh, Dior Addict Stellar Shine in 125. These have been getting rave reviews. I keep hearing people rave about these. And I do. Oh my goodness, I love this one. And it's such an odd shade for me. It's so peachy, but I really, really love it. I wish they would come out with just a whole line of these in like different tones of nude. That would be my heaven. Okay, so um, that drawer was heaven, but didn't get rid of anything. You're failing, Nicole. No, I feel like I did good, you guys. I do have one more little container to show you. These are all of my like baby lipsticks, little like miniature lips. Now, I don't really think that I'm getting rid of any of these, but um, I thought we could look at them anyway. Actually, I might get rid of this Bobbi Brown one in the shade Neutral Rose. It's, yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of that. It's too, like, deep and mauve for me. I don't know. It's just not my favorite color, but look at that packaging. It's so cute. I love these little Marc Jacobs. Um, lipsticks when they do like these little sets they're like $25 I think that they are bomb oh here I'll show you guys my favorite NARS one of my favorite NARS audacious lips it's in the shade Barbara look how pretty that is it's the one on the left <gasps> oh, I love it and then what other one do I have in here oh this one is Addy if you're a fan of like a more brown nude like a peachy brown that's Addy and the formula on these is so good. Like they are so rich and pigmented, but they have like the perfect amount of matte. Do you know what I mean? They're perfect. One of my favorite Bite Beauty lips, I don't even know if they make this one anymore. That one is called Retsina. Oh my goodness, so good. That's the kind of nude that I go for. A hint of pink with almost like a cool undertone. Oh, I just love it. Oh, and I really like this one from Lancome, 202 Sheer Absolute Rouge. You're not even going to be able to see it. It's on the very, very left. You see how sheer that is? It's really nice. If you came here looking for, like, intense liquid lips, oh my gosh, you're probably pissed at me. What is this? Indian Rose from Tom Ford. I really am not a fan of this shade. Yeah, that's not my favorite color, but look at this packaging. Are you kidding me? How could you? How could you get rid of that? You couldn't. Hey, where are you going, sir? Oh, and look, this is a little baby Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. I mean, how adorable is that? So cute. Oh, I just love nude lips. It's like a sickness. It's like an illness, like an addiction. One last thing that I need to show you guys. Now, this is from my shop, my stash. So I'm not going to be going through these because it would be very repetitive for me to go through these in my shop, my stash. So just know that you didn't see everything that's in my collection. You're not going to see any of these. But if you're curious about what's in here, you can watch my Shop My Stash video, which I will put above in a card. So if you want to know how these fared for me this time around, I'm going to be doing a Shop My Stash update probably in like a week or so. So stay tuned for that. 
So anyway, I think I've kept you guys here long enough. So this is what I am getting rid of. I feel like I did really good. I mean, I know that I have way too much, but I love nude lipsticks. It's like one of my favorite things in makeup. So the collection is big, but she brings me joy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you would like to see me declutter. I probably won't do any more for a while because if I do too many people start to get very angry. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? I'm going to get you guys on this other tripod. And then you can do it. There we go. Tony's going to the grocery store. He's such a sweet boy. He's like, well, you're working, so I'm just going to go to the store. And we're going to have chili dogs for dinner. And I'm like, oh, baby, you are speaking my language. Oh, my God. I just had like a 10-minute love fest for the Fenty Gloss Bombs. Like, what has this life come to? Who wants to get drunk on some nude lips? Wow. That's how you're starting this? That's really gonna suck them in, girl. You're sucking them in now. I feel like I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Did I do good? Why won't my camera... What is my camera focusing on? That is so weird. What do you... Oh, there. Now it stopped. Oh, oh God. Don't do that. Hey, baby Jesus. I love you, Nicole. Love you, bitch. Look at those eyes. Doesn't she look like she would massacre you with a claw hammer in your sleep? <laughs> Down here, Elizabeth, you bitch! Oh my god, I'm sorry. Shit. Oh my god, I just burped. I'm so sorry. Let's get it on. Mm. Let's get it on. Woo! <laughs> I miss my calling as a singer.